Okay, this video is going to give an example of how to solve for um, an unknown from balance sheet and income statements. So I'm going to look at the first column. This is what's given in your um, homework, Aquarius. And we're given beginning of the year assets and liabilities, end of the year assets and liabilities, and then we're given some additional information such as additional investment in the business, withdrawals from the business, revenues, and expenses. So the first thing that we need to do is um, note the accounting equation that we're going to be using. So assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This is our accounting equation. And it's going to be easier if we look at it slightly different. If we just move liabilities to the left-hand side of the equal sign, we will have assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. All right, so from here we can say that we now can figure out for Aquarius what our beginning and ending owner's equity is. Let's look and see how we can do that. Beginning of the year, we know that our assets are 300,000, our liabilities are 120. So we can say beginning of the year, owner's equity, and then I'm just going to do it in a formula right here. I can say equals 300,000. That's from right here. Minus 120, that's from right there. And that gives me my beginning of the year owner's equity. I can do the same thing and calculate ending owner's equity. End of the year owner's equity. All right, so this time I'm going to say 420 minus 110 equals 420 minus 110. All right, that's the first step. Now I know what my beginning and my ending owner's equity is. Okay, but I'm trying to figure out what my additional investment in the business is. So the next thing that I have to know is the statement of owner's equity. The statement of owner's equity looks like this. Um, ignore these numbers because I haven't calculated these yet. Beginning owner's equity. All right, I have that, right? That's 180000 plus additional investment in the business. That's what I'm looking for, so that's my unknown. Withdrawals from business, I'm given that right here is uh, 25000 and that reduces my owner's equity statement. Plus my revenue, I'm given that at 190000 and minus my expenses, and I'm given 80000 All right, and how I knew that was that looks like the statement of owner's equity that you saw in the chapter. So 180 plus A minus 25 plus 190 minus 80 equals, do I know my ending owner's equity? Yes, I do because I calculated it right here at $310,000. All right, so now I have um, a little statement here, and it's going to look like this. I know that 180000 plus my unknown of investments minus 25000 plus 190,000 minus 80,000 equals 310,000. And from that, I can solve for A by, let's just move A to the other side, um, and then we can keep everything else on this side. So in order to do that, I'm going to say 180,000, still minus 25, still plus 190, this is just general algebra, minus 80,000. I want to move 310 to my side, so minus 310 equals negative A, because I moved A over there. And when I do all of that out, I should get my 310,000. To check for that, I will add some of these together, net them together since we have some pluses and some minuses and see if I get 310,000, and I do. So I have solved for A, and A is equal to 45,000. Right. Okay, now I'm going to work TARS as my last example of this problem. So I would start off at the beginning, and I would calculate beginning of the year owner's equity, but it's unknown because I don't know my assets, and I don't know my owner's equity, so I have two unknowns. So I can't, I can't solve for that just yet. So let's just go on to end of the year owner's equity. I can do that. So that is going to be uh, 248,000 minus 136,000 equals 248,000 minus 136,000.
That's ending owner's equity. All right, and then let's just see what we can put in. I can't put in beginning owner's equity because I don't know it. I do know additional investment because it's given to me at 40000 I do know my withdrawals. It's given to me, and it'll be a minus 60000 because it reduces owner's equity. I do know my revenue. It's 112000 And I do know my expenses. It's minus 128 All right. Do I know my ending owner's equity? Yes, I had everything to calculate that, so I can do 112000 All right, now I have enough to calculate beginning owner's equity. Now, that's not my total answer, but it will give me enough answers to plug in to get to my D. All right, so let's do an equation of the above to calculate for this unknown, which I'm going to call it X. All right, so we're going to say X plus $40,000 minus $60,000 plus $112,000 minus $128,000 equals $112. All right, let's just leave X on the side that it's on and move everything else over. How about so X equals, okay? I'm going to move everything over, so I'm going to change all the signs. Minus 40,000 plus 60,000 minus 112,000 plus 128,000 um, and then the 112 is already on the same side, so it'll still be a plus. 112,000. All right, and then when I net all that together, I will find out what X equals and it equals 148,000. So this number is 148,000 and I can check it by summing all of that together. Now that I know my beginning owner's equity, I can plug it into this up here to calculate it. So I know that my beginning owner's equity is 148,000. Um, so we're going to say, we want to say assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. So owner's equity equals 148,000 equals D minus 120,000. And we can solve for that. And when we do, we get D equals 268,000. So basically what we did is we first solved for um, beginning and ending owner's equity, knowing assets and liabilities. And then we used the statement of owner's equity to solve for any other unknowns. So let me know if you have any questions on that.